Hello everyone and welcome to how to get a favoricon or favorites icon for your website brought to you by evideohow.com uh, A couple people asked me because they noticed I had one on my website when you're looking at a web page especially in Firefox you can see a little icon up here for some web pages but not all of them and they wanted to know how to get uh, a little icon for their website and they noticed that I had one so the way to do this is that little icon is called a favicon or fav I favorites icon is what it stands for and it was originally designed as an icon just to be used for your favorites so you bookmark it however Firefox the new versions of Firefox Opera and Internet Explorer expand it so that it actually shows up in the in the uh, address bar when you click on a website. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you need to create a 16 by 16 pixel icon. And yes, that is really, really small. The best way to do this is to use Photoshop and download a plugin for it from Telegraphs www.telegraphics.com .au slash sw slash and I'll have the links in the info box and move down to the Windows icon format plugin and it's a free download for Windows you don't even have to fill this out if you don't want to just click download and it'll be zipped so you're going to unzip it I can see it right here and assuming you're on Windows, you can read the README if you want, but I'm going to show you how to do it. You can open up your computer and navigate to Program Files, Adobe, Photoshop, Plugins, File Formats. And then finally, you're just going to click and drag it in here, which if I have already done, you can see it's right there. I go format. And if you already had Photoshop open at that point, you're going to want to reopen it. So now that you have that done, you're going to take, you're going to make a new file that is only 16 by 16 pixels. If you want to work at, with it bigger, you can start with 32 by 32 or 64 by 64 and then reduce it, but the final one has to be 16 by 16. And yes, it's really small. As you can see, if I zoom in all the way, it, you can actually see each individual pixel. So it's really hard to work with it when it's at that size. So this is going to be my new favicon. And we're going to hit File, Save As. And now you can see there's now this Windows icon format that wasn't there before. And you're going to name it favicon, F A V I C O N dot I C O, all one word, all lowercase. And save it. I'm just going to save it to my desktop. And now, you need to place this in the root directory of your website. So that's the same folder that has your index.html, which is your home page. So I'm going to do so by moving it over a little bit. Actually, I'm going to just put it right. I'm just going to put it right in there because I know where it goes. I can find my folder here. Okay, and I'm just going to sit click and drag this in here. Yes, I want to remove and replace. Okay, so now I have that in there. And I know it's not enough of orders for me to flip. But okay, so now that that's in there, we can move to Adobe Dreamweaver. And I'll refresh it. You can actually just click and drag it into here in Dreamweaver if you want. Or if you have uh, a file 
program that you can upload right from your host. You can do it that way too. Uh, but I just did it that way so you could see it on the screen. And now you'll see it. It'll appear here. Favoritcon.ico. And then I'm just going to FTP it. Say yes. That's because I did it a different way. Okay. Now that you have that done, you can. You also have to add in for older versions of Internet Explorer. You want to. You have to add in a couple lines of HTML that are really specific. And so I can show you right here. In the header, right before the slash head, you want to add in these lines of HTML, which is link relative equals icon in quotes, type equals image slash ICO, and href equals, and you want your website, I have evideohow.com, slash favicon.ico. That's going to stay the same. Now most of the new web browsers don't require that line of HTML, but you should put it in there anyway. You should put it on every page so that in case someone doesn't land on your home page to start with, they'll still get that in there. After it's in their browser's cache, then it doesn't matter. So now we can try it. I'll head over to the website. And you can see I still have the old one up. But now there's a cool little trick. If you put a question mark at the end of your uh, your address, it'll make it think it's brand new. Apparently I didn't like that. So we're going to have to do it another way. Click Tools, Options. Um, if you already have it loaded, a good way to do it is just clear the catch. So now I have the cache cleared in Firefox. So now if I do it, to try to pick up the new one, and look, there it is. Now you can see my new Favicon, and that's how to get your own Favicon. Hopefully that helped. Alright, thanks for watching this video. If you want to watch this video and all the other videos of mine in high quality, please visit my website at evideohow.com